welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. Today's video is going to be a pretty cool one. We have something pretty neat that's going to help us step up our game. Uh, and I am very excited for this unboxing today. Before we get into the unboxing, I want to say thank you guys to everyone that's subscribing, liking, and commenting in all these videos. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate all the support. If you do enjoy this content, make sure that you, yes, you, uh, are sharing this with a friend, a uh, family, or even your pets. You got to let your dog watch these videos, for real. So with that said, uh, today's item that we got for the unboxing is a camera as well as a uh, as well as a camera grip. Uh, this is going to really be helpful with shooting because right now I'm just using my iPhone. However, with this camera, I'm definitely going to be able to get um, I'm hoping that's going to be better quality for one better audio. We already have a new microphone that we are using. It's great uh, but I'm just hoping it's going to give us more avenue better way to get this content in a clear better manner so with that said let's get into the unboxing so for today's unboxing we have the Sony digital camera this is the digital uh, this is the ZV-1 digital camera I uh, saw some good reviews as well as got some good advice about this camera as well Sony products from friend neighbor drew uh, he said this is very really, really good um, so we're going to test this out and we're going to run with it so with that said let's go ahead and unbox it i also have a grip which is going to be pretty nice it's like a vlogger kit um, i have that right here we're going to unbox this as well and check that out too so with that said let's get into it so typical pamphlets all that good stuff um, i'm sure you guys aren't going to be very interested in all that but i'm going to go through and see if there's anything useful there is a startup guide which if you've never used this product before you can definitely check out uh, it's going to be very helpful very useful as far as getting started um, there is also a digital manual that you can check out as well uh, but what you guys care about what i care about is the actual hardware so easy enough we have a this looks like uh, a microphone attachment usually I don't know the right actual name or term for this but you put this to prevent wind noise if you're recording and let's say outside you got a lot of wind noise this is gonna definitely help to get rid of that and have your audio still be good you also have a USB USB type B uh, charger or cable uh, I'm guessing this is gonna be useful for charging you have the camera itself, which is it's very small. It's very compact, um, very small size, which I definitely do like. It has a screen on the back, which one good thing about it that I did like this camera is because the camera actually, you can have the screen flip out. This is where the screen is. So whenever, let's say you're, you have a setup, it's set up on the stand, you can actually still see what you're recording. Um, that's really nice. That's a nice feature that I do like for this camera. And lastly, in this box, you have a battery, pretty small battery. Uh, I heard from what I've looked up, the battery only lasts about, I think, one and a half to two hours of constant use. So if you're going to be recording for a long time, you might want to look at getting another battery. That way you have uh, two batteries in case your first one uh, dies. So another thing I do want to test out is going to be the audio for this camera as well because it does have a speaker up top. Uh, I'm curious to know if this audio is going to be better than the blue microphone that we got in comparison to that and the iPhone. So now we have three ways of uh, testing audio. So I guess I'm going to have to do a little you know, trial and error and figure out which one is going to be the best going forward. Um, I will keep you guys posted on that. So I do have the battery in, um, it is getting, it is ready for setup. So we're going to go through the setup process for this camera. So we're going to be English, we're going to enter the date, uh, our time zone, we are in that's kind of neat. I like that. Uh, well, we're not in Chicago, but we are in central time zone. So we're going to look at that. Daylight savings. Daylight savings just happened. 
So we want that on. Date and time today is March 13th. Of 2022. The time currently right now is 1.54. All right, so we are all set. I'll leave that format that like that for now. Edge, edge. And there we go. So you guys can actually see the camera right now as it is ready to go. There is no um, no memory card in there. So I'm gonna do the second part of this video, which is going to be unboxing the vlogger kit that I did purchase for this camera as well. So we already unboxed the camera. Uh, now we have the vlogger kit, which we're gonna unbox. This is kind of cool because you can actually control the camera using the stand. There are some buttons on here as well as a memory card, 64 gig memory card that it comes with. So that's gonna be pretty nice. So let's get into unboxing, getting this set up on the camera and we'll go ahead and do like a little side-by-side -side comparison so you guys know the difference between the two. So here we go. We are unboxing, has a little Pamphlet up top, on the top of the box, it's just a pairing guide. Uh, it is Bluetooth, so you do have to, you can pair this uh, via Bluetooth to the camera. That way, if it's not exactly connected to the uh, ZV-1 camera itself, you can actually um, still control it via Bluetooth, which is really nice, that's pretty cool. So, like I said, we have our 64 gig uh, memory card, which we're going to throw that inside of the camera. And then we have our uh, grip. I think this is like a little carrying bag, which is nice. Have a Sony carrying bag for the grip. There are some informational pamphlets as well as button guides and whatnot. Lots of paperwork uh, for this as well as the camera that I'm going to have to go through. I'll move that to the side for now. And last but not least is the grip itself. Um, so quality wise, it feels pretty good. It's nice and rugged. Uh, I like that it's a tripod, so it can stand like so. You have a few adjustment points that you can control. Still playing around with it. Um, and you have a lot of buttons, so you have different modes. Zoom in, zoom out. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> so it's going to take uh, some time to get used to. I am going to play around with this for sure, but I definitely did want to get this unboxed for you guys so you guys can see. Uh, what this is about. So I started playing around with uh, the camera itself as well as the controller um, stand. I don't know what to call it exactly, but uh, it does. I'm going to do another angle testing uh, the Sony DV1. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to play around with it with the zoom in and the zoom out. I don't think I can actually. Oh, here it goes. Okay, so I guess that's kind of cool. I haven't yet set up the uh, stand, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out the Bluetooth, how to pair it up correctly in the midst of recording this video. So we'll figure it out. So there's gonna be probably a follow-up video to where I'm actually learning um, to use this camera properly, learning all the features and all that. Um, so right now for this video, I just want to do a simple unboxing just for you guys. Um, I did find out that this does have blue, uh, not only does it have Bluetooth, there's also Wi-Fi. I just got it on my Wi-Fi, which that's awesome. So I think I'm going to be able to just transfer files uh, from the camera just straight to my laptop or whatever device I'm using to edit via Wi-Fi instead of actually taking out the memory card from the camera itself, plugging it in and doing it that way. 
Uh, I don't know which way is faster, but I have pretty good Wi-Fi, so I figure I should just be able to just transfer the files like that, uh, preferably. So I was actually playing around with the camera and the battery died. So I have to let it charge and then we will continue this video. So in the midst of actually letting this uh, camera charge and um, just kind of like figuring out what exactly this camera can do, I kind of learned that it's kind of out of my realm at the moment for me to actually be like making this video in a way. Not necessarily the unboxing part, but just the use part. I don't have any experience using this camera at all. And I wanna just take the time to actually learn. And um, at that point, then I wanna kind of retouch and make like a part two of this video and learn all of what this camera can do. I've just been playing around with the menus, adjusting the settings, and it seems to be like a lot. Uh, if you really wanna get in the nitty gritty of what this camera can do, it can do a whole lot. And this is a nice tool and I just want to take the proper time to learn how to use the stand properly as well as the camera. Uh, so for the time being, I'm going to just let this video be just a unboxing for the Sony ZV-1. It is so far an uh, awesome camera. It is, there's a lot of tech on here, definitely, and it can definitely do a lot. So I'm excited to learn what all uh, it can do. I'm definitely going to have like a test video just to see the camera, uh, see what it can do. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to make a part two later on where I actually dive in a little bit deeper and we see what I've learned in the time being. All right. I had to turn on the camera for the iPhone. So this is a test of the video quality as well as the sound quality between the Sony ZV-1, as well as my iPhone. Um, we also have the blue uh, microphone, which is starting now. We also have the blue uh, microphone to test out as well, based on quality. So we have a lot of gadgets here that we're starting to set up. It's gonna pretty soon, it's gonna be look, it's gonna look like a little mini studio. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming, it's going to good use and it's coming together. But this is our test. Um, with that said, I have a camera there, I have a camera there, and we are going to end this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in, um, subscribing if you haven't. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. If you enjoyed this content, enjoy this video, share it with friends um, that might be interested, even if they're not. Uh, blast it out there anyways. Um, but yes, thank you guys. And I will catch you on the next one. Another thing is uh, a title label clothing. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you go to the website. Again, that URL is untitledlabelclothing.com. Simple enough. Uh, check that out. And if you want to support the channel, support what we do here at Untitled Label, um, get a piece of apparel. It'll look good, you look good. It's a win-win. Let's do it.